Good morning. Yesterday we got some, we had a big area of hay where we had originally had hay for the horses and it was in a hay hut. Well, whenever Hurricane Dorian was possibly gonna be coming over us, we had to dismantle that hay hut. And of course the hay got exposed and the horses, they ate a lot of what they wanted, but they spread it around and now they won't touch it. So we're putting that hay to use. We're not gonna let it just go to waste. Um, some of the hay that we had had previously, I had gathered up and made a compost pile and it's started to decompose down a bit. And so we're moving it over here and then we're piling up that hay that they had spread out and making a new compost pile with that because of course they, when they spread it out, they pooped in it. So we are gonna spread that, we're piling that up, making a compost pile and bringing the composted hay over here. We're gonna lay down a layer of hay and then we're gonna go ahead and start putting mulch in and letting the chickens just spread that out so that I can start working on my garden. See that? That is our pump. Yay! They came out yesterday and installed the pump. Um, if you recall, we ran into kind of a snag where we discovered that the water table, which the water table here is normally 8 to 12 feet deep, um, because of the dairy, which is using up a lot of water, the water table here is 27 feet deep. So um, basically, we couldn't use a normal well pump in order to gain access to our water because it just they no they didn't have this enough strength to be able to pull the water up from that depth. So we had to have a deep well package installed, which basically the difference between the big difference between a deep well package and a normal well pump is that the jets I guess are put down into the well itself, thus propelling the water up for the pump to pull it up. So. We got that installed yesterday. Um, we just got to get the electric ran out here. But for now, they put a uh, a plug on it, a power cord on it, so we can plug it into our generator to use from time to time, so we can water the animals and until until we get the electrical. We're on the fence of we're we're gonna do it ourselves because um, we're the information's kind of confusing, but it is an option for us to do ourselves. So we're gonna. We're working on doing our research and seeing if it's something that we can do because that would save us quite a bit of money. But <clears throat> that's the next thing. And then we dig our pond. Once we dig our pond, we've got our fill dirt. We can start working on getting that house built. Okay, so I got a little bit of mulch I brought out from the house down in. The chickens are already working on str um, scratching it, spreading it out. But what's also good about them being on it is they're also, one other issue with uh, bringing in wood chips is you sometimes bring in pests. And by allowing them to spend time on it, scratching it up, they're also eating all of the pests that are in these wood chips. So they're, they're spreading it out, they're fertilizing it, they're adding that nitrogen source that's going to help it. Um, I also put down a layer. Now something that, now, I kind of use a variation of the Back to Eden method. Whenever I garden, I like to use the wood chips. They're definitely beneficial. Um, I'm trying a no, some, something of a no-till. Um, the only thing I'm doing that would even be closely related to tilling is just lifting up the soil and, and aerating the soil with the spading fork. But other than that, I'm not tilling. The chickens are scratching it up and digging down, but it's still not, 
it's still not as destructive as actually tilling up the soil so we've got already got pretty good soil here so I'm wanting to kind of keep that let, let that be we just got to kill off the grass break down the roots so over top of the grass which is a good nitrogen source I laid over the composted hay which kind of acts as a nitrogen barrier. Now, some of the issues that people have whenever they are using mulch is that mulch, they, they say that it leaches your, the nitrogen out of your soil. It only leaches the nitrogen from the soil that it is making contact with. So if you till mulch into the ground, it's going to leach your nitrogen and nothing, it's, it, you're gonna have a very difficult time. But as long as you just put it on the top, then you should not have an issue. So. I think with our layers, with the mulch on top, I think we're going to be good.